why companies should care about diversity and inclusion what what's in it for them to actually take this step mm -hmm. yeah and i think we've seen study and study again has demonstrated that there is real value for businesses in actually focusing on on greater diversity and inclusion i mean if we think about things like talent which is you know a huge issue for businesses in Sri Lanka right now, accessing talent. Focusing on diversity and inclusion not only widens your potential talent pool because all of a sudden you're opening it up to a, you know, a, a broader spectrum of the population, but it also enhances your, your value proposition as an employer. So you're opening it up to more employees and then you're actually more attractive as an employer um, to those employees. We've also seen that it leads to increased revenue um, and this is in part because it opens up new markets. So if, if businesses are thinking about diversity and inclusion, not only in terms of their own workforce, but also in terms of potential markets um, and, and who they might be serving with their products or services, then it also increases, um, increases their, their potential markets. Innovation, um, I think, is another big area. So we know that diverse teams are more innovative. You're bringing more perspectives to the table. And so, of course, you're going to be able to better problem solve and better innovate. Um, so I think that's one of the really, really key reasons um, is actually just having that diversity of, um, of perspectives. And then finally, I'd, I'd reflect on productivity. So we know that productivity improves in businesses where employees feel valued and where they feel supported. Um, and so employee well-being is, is inherently linked to diversity and inclusion, and particularly the inclusion part of making sure that employees feel supported and feel welcome.